Alright, uh, this is the ukulele sandbox experience. Uh, if you're not familiar with ukulele, it's a Kickstarter project by Platonic. If you've seen, you've seen uh, quite a lot. Platonic are basically a bunch of former Rare developers. Who are are most famous for a whole bunch of Nintendo 64 titles in the 90s, uh, including Donkey Kong Country and Goldeneye, which were the ones I had. Um, there were various other uh, platforming games. So Ukulele had a massively successful Kickstarter, like nearly £2 million, I think, with the aim of uh, bringing back that uh, platforming fun in the, uh, the 90s. This, because I backed at the £20 level rather than the base £15 level, this is a toy box, which is basically a, a proof of concept type thing to test out test out a DNA bags. Love it. To test out um, you know, playing the game, moves, stuff like that. Alright. Now I did play this a little bit earlier on my laptop. Now you'll see possibly you'll see. It does say a very tiny LT on the trigger there in the text. I'm only know it says LT because because I tried it earlier. And LT was the one that worked. So some important things to know: toy box. All the graphics are basically uh, placeholder, untextured things. And while that fits in quite well with the uh, uh, N64 aesthetic, that's not, this is in no way intended to be the, the final, uh, the final look of the game. So, we're collecting quills. There are a hundred of them apparently. I've not figured out how to do it all. There we go. Alright. So I did run around early. Let's learn how to swim. So, the, the Kickstarter promised, promised Linux, and even the Toy Box experience has a Linux build, which is kind of promising, I would have said. Alright, how do I need to get up here? This is like puzzle platforming stuff. Yeah, made it. So I certainly don't know where all the feathers are. I'm certainly not an expert at the old uh, platforming malarkey. Definitely not. Let's see. does feel a bit awkward, but you know, it's not a finished game yet. Ah, he falls down. To tell you, I warned you, I'm not an expert. 
hopefully you were listening. Yeah, I made it. Let's try that again. We'll try it one more time, and then we'll go and look at some other stuff. Because really, I don't want to force you to watch me... Uh, watch me being bad at games. possible to get up there, we ask ourselves. I'm suspecting not. Alright, let's head out. Where's that X? Let's go down. Let's mangle with the camera. So, it seems to work quite well. Obviously it's not doing a whole lot of stuff. This is just uh, blocky graphics. It's working quite well on my uh, desktop PC. I did run it earlier on my laptop, which is an AMD. I'm not sure I have to get it there yet. Yeah. It's an AMD with a. Uh, Embedded graphics rather than uh, maybe we're not supposed to go up there, and it worked fine on that as well. Uh, earlier, I used my oh, what do you want? Earlier, I used my Xbox 360 controller, and now I'm using my Steam controller. <laughs> the robot psychotic. Oh, you've seen it. You've seen it works perfectly well on Linux. It's using a uh, Unity, I think. So it ought to work okay on Linux, although I've been having some issues with various uh, Unity games recently. Let's talk to the NPC first. can discuss feedback on the Platonic forums. Maybe I'll have to sign up. <laughs> I'll have to sign up for that, I guess. Let's open this. Oh, I see. Can't get out that way. It's a glass ceiling. 
Can we get out there? No, it's more of us, really. We're off. Well, I think that's enough. To be fair, there's not really a lot to it. It's a sandbox experience, it's not a full game. And, uh, yeah, I played it earlier. I climbed the, uh, there's a big tower somewhere. But I climbed up, I don't think it was that one. I think it was that one. Let's see, there we go. Go on. No! There we are, back at the start. So, we'll wrap it up there. It's a ukulele toy box, which was a free gift to anyone who backed more than £20 on the Kickstarter. Demonstrates that they're fully supporting Linux uh, and, you know, Mac and Windows. Those things we don't care about too much. <laughs> Interesting idle animations. So, yeah. Check it out. I'm really looking forward to this game. I love me some of them rare games in the 90s.